Hey everyone, welcome to your beautiful Saturday. And today we have a slight update that looks like it applies to Nintendo Switch 2 because there's not really a lot of reasons for this stuff to actually apply to Nintendo Switch itself. Now this does come from Nintendo and some hiring posts they have been putting up over the last week. So this is official things, like Nintendo is hiring people to do these things, and these things lead to us discussing a feature that is not on Nintendo Switch, but should be expected, at least based on these hiring posts, to appear on Nintendo Switch 2. Now before I dive in, I want to make sure to remind you that we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers, so if you're enjoying the content, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and maybe even ring that bell so you'll be notified of all future uploads. All right, let's take a look at this, and I first got to give credit to Doc Trey 81 who initially brought this stuff up a few days ago, and I really especially have to give him credit here because this... Like, post is gone. It looks like Nintendo actually hired one for this first position. We have three different hiring posts to look at. So the one we're going to look at here from a screenshot from Doc Trey's video says that Nintendo was hiring a contractor for a graphics engineer. Now, in the description of duties for this job, you'll see here that it says testing of Nintendo's display functionality on different TVs and brands. You'll also notice like improving display graphics, implementing test cases to improve testing platforms, working with DevOps on CI automatic text test issues, and you know, a development role with automated test creation and infrastructure. But it's that first part where we're talking about testing of Nintendo's display functionality on different TVs and brands. Now, they shouldn't really need to do this testing anymore for Nintendo Switch. There really isn't anything specialized that Nintendo Switch does. It's a pretty basic HD output, one that has existed for a long time. And obviously the product is seven years old, wouldn't really need to be testing that sort of thing anymore. But also, why would you need to test the display output for the new system on so many different TVs? Well, as Doc Trey concluded, and I now firmly believe myself, it has to probably do with HDR, which is high dynamic range, increased black levels and white levels and color accuracy. And look, it, HDR is utterly amazing when it works correctly, of course. And the reason that we have to say when it works correctly is because there are a lot of different HDR formats and they massively vary TV to TV. So this is why you would need someone to come in to just test display functionality on different TVs and brands because you need to make sure that the Nintendo Switch 2 with its HDR capabilities can look as good as possible on lots of various different TVs and brands. So it makes a lot of sense that this would be a post really sort of targeting the HDR spec. But we're not done because there are some other hiring posts out there, including this senior engineer for display technology and development. Literally, it has display right in the thing. So it does say that it, we are looking for a software engineer to join our display team. In this role, you will be providing technical leadership, engineering management, collaborating with software and hardware architects, designers, and engineers to help develop software for display systems. And in the description of duties, you'll see architect design and implement display driver stack for use with current and future products, develop and refine existing and future display software stack to ensure compliance with various display standards and specifications, research and champion new features and technologies capable of being successfully deployed in a massively used gaming console, and enhance overall picture quality through image processing and tone mapping techniques. Now, that last part is really interesting because if you type in tone mapping into Google, what pops up? Well, tone mapping deals with reducing tonal values within an image to make them suitable to be viewed on a digital screen. And then HDR is often used in the examples for tone mapping because tone mapping is highly applicable to HDR outputs. So again, heavily, heavily inferring that this is yet another person in a slightly different role being hired to help Nintendo deal with display technologies, the software related to it, and obviously dealing with, hey, they're not testing all the different TVs. That's the other position that is no longer available and already been hired for, but this is one dealing specifically with the software and in the tonal map techniques. Now, beyond all of that, we have yet another one, and this one is for an engineer 
display technology and development. So instead of a senior engineer, we just have a normal engineer in this display role. And we are looking for a software engineer to join our display team. Very much the same definition stuff as the last time, but the description of duties are only three, you know, three of them here. So we have developed prototypes and present research to other teams throughout the organization, participate in display software development and assist in testing the display software stack. So while this person isn't going to be like personally responsible for tonal mapping and HDR, what is interesting is that they need to create the prototypes that they're actually going to present to the rest of the company throughout the research of this stuff. So it all seems related because it's obviously dealing with display tech. Look, guys, Nintendo is likely putting HDR and maybe as many HDR format compatibilities as they can into this system, whether it's Dolby Vision, HDR10, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There are so many different types of HDR, so many different ways to try to support it. It'll be interesting to see how well the Nintendo Switch 2 is able to support HDR because when HDR is done well, it looks really, really good. But when it's done poorly, it is pretty bad and people often opt to turn it off in those bad cases so yes it is really important that this works well hdr is amazing again amazing when it's done right and look i absolutely love the hdr that we get on the xbox and the playstation 5 right now and it is something that i do noticeably miss when i do play switch games on my nicer tvs so it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out of course we don't really know you know how deep this hdr tech is going to go we do know, obviously, about DLSS at this point. Nintendo was even hiring people in the past for DLSS, so we sort of know that's going to be there. How is, obviously, all this going to work with the DLSS system? Is it not really going to matter because it's going to be processed by something else? Look, I'm not the biggest tech head when it comes to TV and display technology, so maybe somebody even more knowledgeable could explain how that processing works with HDR to me down below. All I know is Nintendo's clearly focusing on it, and I'm really, really excited about it. And again... Shout out again to Doctray81. If you're not subscribed to his channel, you absolutely should be. He is way on top of these hiring posts, posts on LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He's very good with these research into hiring practices at these companies to discover things before they're actually announced. That being said, folks, I want to thank you so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime, and I'm going to catch you guys in that next video.